welcome, ladies and gentlemen, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Look, I don't... I don't know about you, but I am still recovering from watching America's Next Top Justice last night. <laughs> Did you watch the announcements? Did you watch the announcement last night at 9 o'clock? I had a little drinking game. Mm -hmm. I would pour mm -hmm. myself a drink every time my glass was empty. <laughs> I won. <laughs> of course, last night, the real winner was federal appeals court judge and cover model for Generic Dads Monthly, <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh, which means I have Trump nomination bingo. See? It's all squares that say white guy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I won, I think. And lost. That's great. It's not, it's not a hard game to play. Now, uh, I don't know much about Kavanaugh, but I'm skeptical uh, because his name is Brett. That sounds less like a Supreme Court justice and more like a waiter at Ruby Tuesdays. Hey, everybody, I'm Brett. I'll be your Supreme Court justice tonight. Before you sit down, let me just clear away these rights for you. Of course. <laughs> Bev Naps, a couple Bev Naps. Of course, his full name is Brett Michael Kavanaugh. So it is possible Trump thought he was nominated poison lead singer and winner of Celebrity Apprentice, <laughs> Brett Michaels. <laughs> At least we'll know his stance on the landmark case of nothing via good time. <laughs> Plus, Kavanaugh's 53 years old. That's one year younger than I am. I don't want some kid making constitutional <laughs> decisions. Mm -hmm. I'm 54, and I still can't decide whether I'm Team Edward or Team Jacob. <laughs> Kavanaugh grew up in Washington and went to school at Georgetown Prep, which is the same school attended by Trump's last nominee, Neil Gorsuch which explains why Kavanaugh was voted second most likely to repeal Roe v. Wade. <laughs> and that is actually, that case is actually one of the big questions here, because some fear Kavanaugh would overturn Roe, while others hope Kavanaugh would overturn Roe. Either way, Kavanaugh took great pains last night to reassure us that he knows some women. My mom was a trailblazer. The majority of my law clerks have been women. I have two spirited daughters. For the past seven years, I have coached my daughter's basketball teams. I own three Indigo Girls albums. <laughs> my favorite boat is named after a woman. I have my own pair of traveling pants. I eat Jamie Lee Curtis poop yogurt. It, it makes you poop, it's not made of poop, okay. Of course, Trump may have picked Kavanaugh for his position on a totally different issue, because back in 2009, Kavanaugh wrote that Congress should pass a law exempting a president while in office from criminal prosecution and investigation, including from questioning by criminal prosecutors or defense counsel. Hmm. 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 A little late, but hmm. <laughs> So, Trump picked the guy who thinks presidents shouldn't be prosecuted. That's like Steph Curry picking the ref, and the ref previously ruled, Warriors number one! Woo! Yeah. Now, yeah. leave the president alone might seem to be an odd position from a guy like Kavanaugh, who worked for Ken Starr's investigation of Bill Clinton, but that was before Kavanaugh worked for George W. Bush. He explains, my chief takeaway from working in the White House for five and a half years is that the job of president is far more difficult than any other civilian position in government. So, he thinks the president should be above the law because his job is hard? <laughs> well, in that case, I say moms of three or more kids ought to be able to murder at will. <laughs> Just... <laughs> it's all in the new movie, The Purge, Mother's Day. <laughs> Wake up, Daddy, you're dead. <laughs> Kavanaugh is also a big supporter of the Second Amendment. In 2011, Kavanaugh found the Constitution protects ownership of semi-automatic rifles because semi-automatic rifles, like semi-automatic handguns, have not traditionally been banned and are in common use by law-abiding citizens. But just because something's in common use doesn't mean it's okay 
For a while, lawn darts were in common use by law-abiding citizens, but then we banned them because kids came down with a bad case of spike head. <laughs> Prior to becoming a judge, Kavanaugh was involved in some of the biggest partisan fights of the last 20 years. For instance, he represented Elion Gonzalez, the boy who was taken by immigration back to Cuba. Donde esta Elion? It is day 6,654. <laughs> Remember when Republicans got upset when we tried to take one Hispanic child away from his family? <laughs> Kavanaugh was also one of the lawyers representing Bush in Bush v. Gore and wrote much of the Star Report. In fact, Kavanaugh's been so ubiquitous in the Republican legal establishment that he has been called the Forrest Gump <laughs> of Republican <laughs> politics. Yeah, which explains this recent interview he gave to Politico. My mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. It begins at conception. 